Hi and welcome to a tutorial. This is only going to show you the basic techniques used in this video because I've recorded this video so many times and it's just failed on me. So after about 8 attempts it's finally this is my last approach and recording the audio separately. First of all open your image up in Photoshop and then duplicate the layer, Command and J. Put the brightness up all the way up on the top layer and use a layer mask to actually paint back in the detail of the original image. This is a cheating technique because normally you'd clone all the background in with the original image. The white background doesn't really suit this image. Excuse me here, that was someone disturbing me while I was recording. As you can see I'm just using the layer mask to paint in the the colours back. Okay, once you've done that, just flatten the image and then go adjust the levels till you get to a, a level you like. Duplicate it again, but turn off the background layer. That's just for um, in case you make mistakes. Now I'm just using a colour that's basically skin colour and just painting over where the skin areas are. I know it looks horrendous at the moment, <coughs> but if you just watch in a second, you'll see how it works. It's actually a lot harder recording the video when you're not doing it live. <laughs> I'm just trying to watch this in a small preview screen. By the way, this is being done on a new layer. If you didn't just that, I think my videos actually I'm just going through a bit too quickly just to demonstrate it really. You don't have to be accurate with this as such because it you'll see in a moment when you change the blending mode it just picks to the colours, it won't go on the white and it won't go on the black. So you can see we're just finishing off the faces, doing the fine, final little touches of the skin. And then set the um, layer mode to colour. And you can see you get that nice orange. You just this in all sorts of different ways. Your colour levels, hue saturations. Till you get to it to a pretty much realistic looking skin. Some people like to have a curved layer on here. Now I've created a new layer. I'm painting in a nice cleaner grey for his suit. That's basically all you do with this. It's not actually that hard. Just go over it, you adjust it as you go along, adapt the colours. As long as you've got a new layer for each colour you're doing. I mean, normally I'll do the skin tones in a different colour <coughs> um, for each person, but this is just for demo purposes. Okay, create a new layer. Now we're going to go on to the. Oh, I was just touching up some mistakes on the first one, so you won't get that when you're spending your time doing it. So then create a new layer again, and then you go over his suit, which is obviously a lighter grey. I think I'm just about to demonstrate something here. Though. Once you've coloured it all in, you don't root in these kind of work. You don't have to be 100% accurate to be honest with you, but. As you can see, this is a five minute job, a whole photo. You'd be looking to spend 30 to 40 minutes once you've got the techniques. So, if you just go to Hue Saturation here and click Colorize, you can make anything, pretty much any colour you want. I'll just demonstrate in there. You can d do it again. I'll just show you different techniques really that work. Hair is one of the hardest things to get, I find make it look realistic I mean you can look at the skin now the skin looks red but you wait to the end when you put some photo filters on you'll see it does actually start looking a lot more realistic you're only really doing a rough design here you're just basically getting the colour somewhere to a somewhat happy level the great thing about using the layers tool as well like I'm doing so many different layers <coughs> it's the fact that you can just erase little bits as you go along if you find you go out the lines or some bits of colour don't seem to work when it's just repeating the same technique over and over again don't know how much I can stress the fact it's just new layer painting a colour just a hue saturation I mean, some people use colour balance, some people use curves, levels and stuff above it. 
Now with black and white you don't tend to get the same results swapping the layer to colour overlay. Try and keep the layer same as it is as normal but then just lower the opacity down. I mean you still want it to look realistic but you can still sharpen up your black and whites. It's like a new layer for his tie, I thought a nice blue. I don't quite like that light blue so I'll go into the colour balance and just darken it up a bit. But obviously this, all these techniques, it's just what I've done this video in. You can use the colour colour range, the colour adjustments, all the hue saturations for your liking. I mean, this is just showing you the techniques, it's not more. You have to do it this way. Once you've learnt about the colour overlay and its potentials, then obviously you can get a lot more customizable. But as I say, I've this is about my eighth attempt on this video and it just got a bit tedious going over and over the same thing again so I'm hoping this will be good enough for you to see how it's done and then you can go and play with your own black and white photos just it this way I was just making the white a bit sharper on here because it was a bit of a dirty white and when you're looking at the girl below her she's got a nice clean white so I'll just clean it up and then taking the opacity down in white and obviously creating a new layer for something you can start seeing now this picture's actually starting to take shape and effect and just painting in his hair because that looked a bit black and white it's picture still just using your razor touching it up it really is that simple so it's not a hard job to do colouring in black and white pictures it's more time consuming and just tweaking fine but to do this amount of work in literally a five minute video it's pretty pretty crazy really but you all wanted to see how it was done so this is how it's done pretty much you don't need to be a great skilled photoshopper to do this it, as you can see it all kind of naturally happens as you go along main key points I mean here I'm just finishing off the image just cropping it down tidying up the edges and this is where I think it gets important if you just go to image adjustment photo filter just put a nice little warming filter on it starts bringing it back making it like a more natural photo and that's where I'm just thinking, oh I've missed out my lips again so I'm just very roughly quickly, I mean you can see the time I'm spending on this it works, set it to colour overlay and set the arrays different levels and just colour it out as of how you like it yes her skirt on the bottom right looks way over the top You <coughs> that will all, can all be adjusted, you can go over it again, change the saturation I've actually flattened the image just to apply the photo filter. Well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck.